So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a subscriber in Pavli email marketing on Razorpay payment. Let's say you own a business and you're using Razorpay to collect the online payments. And in your Razorpay account, you might have created multiple payment pages or payment links. Now you want that whenever you receive the payment on any of the Razorpay payment page, you want to add the customer who made the payment as a subscriber in Pavli email marketing. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. In this automation, as we are going to receive a new payment in Razorpay in any of the payment page or payment link, we are going to add the customer who is making the payment as subscriber in Pavli email marketing. If you want to learn how you can set up this complete automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Razorpay account. And in my Razorpay account, I have created multiple payment pages to capture the payment for multiple products. Now using these payment pages, whenever I receive a new payment, I want to add the customer who is making the payment in my Pavli email marketing account as a subscriber. Now to do this, we have to connect our Razorpay account with Pavli email marketing. And we are going to use Pavli Connect, which is an automation and integration platform to do so. Now to get started with Pavli Connect, you will get a free sign up link in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli account in just two minutes if you have already not created. But after creating the account and coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name my workflow as Razorpay to Pavli email marketing. Then just select the folder of the Pavli Connect account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. After clicking on create, this workflow will open in front of us. In this workflow, you can see we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Razorpay account with Pavli Connect in the trigger step so that whenever we get a new payment on our Razorpay account, automatically the details of the payment will be received inside Pavli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. Then after that, using this Pavli Connect automation, we are going to send the details of the same payment and add the customer who made the payment in our Pavli email marketing account as a subscriber. So let's see how it is done. Starting from our trigger step here, we in Choose app, we have to search for Razorpay and select it. After selecting Razorpay in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as payment captured. After selecting this trigger event, Pavli Connect gave us a webhook URL. And now we have to add this webhook URL in our Razorpay account. Now to add this webhook URL, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. Copy the webhook URL from here and go to your Razorpay account. After coming to Razorpay from the left sidebar, go to account and settings and go to webhook section over here. After coming to the webhook section, click on this add new webhook button and here in webhook URL, we have to paste the exact same webhook URL which we have copied from Pavli Connect. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. Then we don't have to enter anything in secret and alert email. And here in active event, we have to select payment.captured. So in this way, we are telling Razorpay that whenever this event is going to happen, whenever we are going to capture a payment in Razorpay, automatically send the details of the payment and the customer who made the payment to this webhook URL. Means to Pavli Connect workflow. After pasting the workflow and selecting the active event, click on create webhook. And as you click on create webhook, you can see this webhook URL is now added in our Razorpay account. After adding the webhook URL, here you can see in our Pavli Connect workflow, it is showing us waiting for webhook response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to capture some response, some details of a new payment from Razorpay. So what we are going to do, we are going to make a test payment over here. This is one of my Razorpay payment pages and I'm going to enter the details of a test customer and make a test payment over here. Let's say the name of the customer is dummy user. Now after entering the demo user as the name, we'll just enter the email address and a dummy phone number. So these are the details of the customer. Let me enter the phone number with country code. Now after entering these details over here, what we have to do, we have to basically make a payment. Let's click on this P button and after clicking on pay, what we have to do, I'll be making a test payment over here. So I'll just select the payment method as UPI. I'll enter the test UPI ID over here. This UPI ID is used to make the test payment. Click on verify and pay. 
Now, as I click on it here, you can see because we are in the test mode, a test payment will be done over here. So it is confirming the payment. Let's wait for a few seconds. And the payment is done. So just now what we have done, we have received a new payment on our Razorpay account on one of our payment pages. Now, as we receive this payment, we will see automatically within seconds, the details of the same payment will be received inside Pavli Connect. And yes, here you can see that in our Pavli Connect workflow in the trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, we have received the details of the same payment and the details of the customer who made the payment as well. Like we have the name of the customer, demo user, we have the phone number, we have the email address, we have the payment method as UPI, we have the payment ID or UPI ID as well. We'll scroll down further and you can see all the other details as well. Like we have once again, we have the phone number. Here you can see in the payment amount, we have received the amount as 5 lakhs. Now this is because while sending the data of the amount or the payment details from Razorpay to Public Connect, it does not support the decimal value. That's why the decimal in this payment is removed and that's why it is showing us the amount as 5 lakhs over here. But if you want to use the amount in this automation, in the next step, using a feature of Public Connect that is number formatter, you can remove the two zeros and get the correct amount as well. So in this way, we have successfully received the details of a payment and the details of the customer who made the payment from Razorpay inside Public Connect. And the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now let's move to step two. In step two, we have to add the same customer who made the payment as subscriber in Pavli email marketing. For that, we'll scroll down, come to this action step, and here in Choose Zap, we'll search for Pavli email marketing over here. Just select it. After selecting Pavli email marketing, in action event from the drop down, select the action event as add subscriber. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here, we have to connect our Pavli email marketing account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our Pavli email marketing account. Now you must be thinking how you can get this API token. For that, just go to your Pavli email marketing account. From the left sidebar, go to integrations. And after coming to integrations, go to developer API. After clicking on developer API, here you can see the bearer token of your Pavli email marketing account. Just copy the token from here and paste it over here. After pasting the token, just click on save. And as you click on save, here you can see our Pavli email marketing account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making the connection, it is asking us for the list name. So in this drop down, you can see all the subscriber list which we have created in my PEM account. So I'll just go to subscriber section and here you can see that we have three different lists. We have the Razorpay customer, weekly newsletter and Zoom registration. And the fourth list is the default list over here. Now, out of all of this, we have this list of Razorpay customers over here. And in this particular list, we want to add the customers who are making the payment on Razorpay as a subscriber. So from this drop down, we are going to select that particular list over here. After selecting the list, it is asking us for the email and the name. So we have received the email address and the name of the customer from Razorpay in the trigger step. So here from trigger step responses, what we have to do, we have to send this response of email address and customer name to this Pavli email marketing action step. And to add the details from the trigger step responses to action step, we are going to use a simple process called mapping. The process of mapping is very simple. Just click on this email field over here. In this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from Razorpay of a new payment. Out of all of these responses, select the response of email and it will be mapped. Now after that, just click on this field of name from the drop down, select the response of first name, it will be mapped over here. Then just add a space and select and map the response of last name as well. In this way, we have successfully added the details of the customer who made the payment in this Pavli email marketing action step. Now after selecting our list and mapping the email address and name, just click on save and send test request. And as we click on save and send test request, here you can see we have received the response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the customer whose details we have added over here, basically the same customer who made the payment on one of our Razor Pay payment page is now added as a subscriber in Pavli email marketing. So let's check it. We'll go to a Pavli email marketing account. We'll just refresh this subscriber page once and go to the same subscriber list. And yes, here you can see that demo user, the same person, the same customer with the same name and same email is now added in our Pavli email marketing account. This means the automation workflow between Razorpay and Pavli email marketing is working perfectly fine. Now we have created this automation in such a way that if we receive the payment, if we capture the payment on Razorpay in any of the payment page, 
all the customers or the customer making payment on any payment page of our Razorpay account will be added in Pabli email marketing. But if you want to set up this automation in such a way that only the customer who are making the payment on a specific payment page, you want to only add those customers as subscriber in Pabli email marketing. In that case, what you can do, you can just add a filter condition in our automation workflow. And we have a lot of videos live on the channel on Razorpay automation with the filter condition. You can refer to those videos or if you want a dedicated video on that as well, we have that video already live on the channel. That how you can add the payment details or add the customer making the payment on a specific Razorpay payment page to any other application using Pabli Connect. Or you can write us in the comment box below requesting the same video with the filter condition. Now after creating this automation, we are going to test this automation workflow once. For that, I'll go back to my Razorpay payment page. I'll just refresh this page once and we are going to make another test payment. And this time we are going to change the details of the customer. So let's see dummy customer. This is the name of the person. The email address is dummy at rate And after that, let me just correct the email address over here. The phone number is this. This is the dummy phone number which we are entering. Let's click on pay. And after clicking on pay, once again, we are going to make another test payment. We'll just enter the Razor Pay payment ID, the test payment UPI ID, verify and pay. And let's wait for a few seconds over here. And it is done. So just now we have received another payment on one of our Razor Pay payment page. And we'll see as we receive this payment, instantly within seconds, the same customer who made the payment will be added as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing. We'll just refresh this subscriber page once and go to the subscriber list. And yes, here you can see dummy customer, the same customer with the same name and same email who just now made a payment on our Razor Pay payment page. The same customer is instantly within seconds added as a subscriber in Pabli email marketing. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. It's not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you'll find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and start using this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pabli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pabli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can just do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pabli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.